सिक्स सेमेस्टर मैथमेटिक्स पेपर यही तो कॉम्प्लेक्स अनालिसिस लेक्चर सिक्स ऑन मैक्सिम मॉडल ऑफ प्रिंसिपल बाय डॉक्टर पीर हमलो हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एमबीएस गवर्नमेंट और साइंस साइंस कॉलेज माहौब नगर सो टुडे इस लास्ट लेक्चर इन फ्रॉम यूनिट थ्री सो फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर सेलेबस विल बी एंड मैक्सिम मॉडल ऑफ प्रिंसिपल इफ एफ ऑफ फंक्शन इफ ए फंक्शन एफ इज ऑनलिटिक ऑन कॉन्स्टेंट इन गिवन डोमेन डी देन एफ ऑफ जेड हैज नो मैक्सिम वैल्यू इन साइड डी दट इज देर इज नो पॉइंट जेड नॉट इन ए डोमेन डी सच दैट एफ ऑफ जेड लेस दैन इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट फॉर ऑल जेड बिलोंगिंग टू डी so that means uh, if f is analytic and constant uh, there does no f object does not have mod f object does not have any uh, maximum value inside it is has maximum value outside on d okay or other statement let f object be continuous in, in closed and bounded region d and analytic and non constant in interior of d then mod f object attains the maximum value on the boundary of d And never attains interior of D. Proof. Let O F is analytic in domain D. By Cauchy integral formula, we know that f of z not equal to one by two pi i integration over C R. F of z z minus z not into D z. Where C R is the closed contour whose center is z not and radius is R. That I'm breaking my CR equation is minus z mod of z minus z not equal to R. The parametric equation of this is we can write as z equal to z not plus R e power of i theta. If I take like this, d z equal to what happen? Zero plus i r e power of i theta d theta. By substitute this value in given star, what will get? If of z not equal to one by two pi i integration over CR, if of z not plus R e power of i theta by R e power of i theta. Into i or e power of i theta d theta. Okay. So simply I'm substituting z minus not number two, z minus z not nothing but r e power i theta f of z nothing but z plus r e power i theta d z nothing but i r e power of i theta. That equal to one by two pi i. So i i gets cancelled out one by two pi i i r r e power i theta gets cancelled out f of z plus r e power of i theta d theta. Apply modulus both side. Of this above equation, we'll get more inequality. We hope uh, z not uh, equal to one by two pi i in this form of C R. If of z not plus R e power of i theta mod d theta. So we know that uh, by integral lemma, uh, startingly we need to state it in theorem uh, that equal to it is one by two pi in this form of C R mod f of z not plus R e power of i theta d theta by using some lemma already we stated. So this is less than equal to this. That means the modulus goes inside, which implies I'm writing here uh, mod f of z uh, plus r e power in place of z not r plus i beta. I will substitute f of z. What we know that z e not uh, plus uh, z equal to z not plus r i e beta. If I substitute here, we will get uh, f of z not uh, integration one by two pi zero to two pi f of z d z here. f of z not z not here f of z d z we can write this is 2 pi f of z not is less than or equal to 0 to 2 pi f of z plus z f of z d z this can let equation one let f is analytic on c r the subset of d which implies f is continuous on c r subset of d f is continuous and bounded by hypothesis which implies so bounded i think but mod f of z less than or equal to m for all z belonging to r Which implies f attains so maximum on D. If suppose so maximum on D. If suppose I'm taking that so f attains maximum inside D. So I want to prove this theorem in conduction level. If suppose f attains so maximum inside D. That is, there exists z not belong to D such that f of z not equal to m. Which implies so there exists z not belong to D such that f of z not Uh, f of z is less than or equal to f of z not for all z belongs to D. Inside there will exist one value f of z less than or equal to f of z not for all z belonging to D by a post statement. Since uh, f of z is maximum value, which implies if I take any value in G, we also less than or equal to this f of which implies f of mod mod f of z plus z not is less than or equal to mod f of z not is less than or equal to mod f of z not. 
Yeah, the object not is then equal to mod f of z, which implies I'm both side integrating with respect to zero to two pi f of z plus z not dz less than equal zero to two pi mod f of z dz mod f of z comes this side that equal to zero to two pi dz zero to two pi dz integration value is two pi. So integration over zero to two pi f of z plus z not dz less than equal two pi. Mode f of z. I am putting this is equation two. From equation one and two, equation one says that two uh, pi f of z not is greater than integration of zero to two pi f of z not. From equation two, integration zero to two pi f of z plus z not dz is less than equal to two pi f of z not. From comparing equation one and two, we will get integration zero to two pi f of z plus z not dz equal to two pi i f of z f of two pi f of z not that equal to zero to two pi f of z not dz, which implies so it can written as is zero to two pi f of z plus z not minus mod f of z z not dz equal to zero. Since f is continuous in in the uh, integral equal to zero, which implies mod f of z not plus z not equal to mod f of z not. Which implies f of z not equal to f of z for all z belongs to G. Which implies f is constant, which is contradiction. Our f is non-constant to polynomial. Our supposition is wrong. What we are assuming to there? Suppose f is attain maximum value inside D. That is wrong. Therefore, f is attain maximum value on boundary of domain D. Hence, proved maximum value principle. Practical problems uh, twenty-seven. Suppose that f of z is uh, entire and the harmonic function u of x comma y equal to real part of f of z has upper bound u naught. That is, u of x comma y are equal to u naught for all x comma y in, x, in the x y plane. Show that u of x comma y must be constant toward the plane. Okay, aim to show that. Suppose you can assume all these things. Here you can write to show that. Uh, It is enough for principle. So entire function, harmonic function, Lyapunov theorem. Method. Let I am taking that uh, uh, f of z equal to u of x complex i u of x uh, is entire function. It is analytic everywhere. I am uh, by hypothesis we know that u of x comma equal to real part of f of z. Here I am taking that uh, u of x comma equal to real part of z. So u of x comma y equal to u naught for all x comma y in the x y plane. By hypothesis, I am taking. Let I am considering g of z equal to e power of f of z. Why? Because I want to prove this problem. That's why I am considering g of z equal to e power of f of z. Since f of z is entire function, g of z is also a entire function. Why? Because e power of f of z also entire function. Applying both side mod e power f of z e power f of z can be e power u plus i v u power of u into e power i v u power mod of u pi equal to one. Can take that in the value that is less than equal to is that equal to u uh, e power of u, which is less than equal to u power of u naught. Why? Because u less than u naught by hypothesis. I am writing this less than equal to u power of e, e power of u naught, which implies mod z mod g of z is less than equal to e power of u naught. Uh, that means g of z is bounded. Therefore, g of z is entire and bounded by Lyapunov theorem. G of z is constant. If g of z is constant, e power of f of z is constant, which implies log g of z equal to f of z is constant. f of z equal to u plus i v is also constant. That means uh, f of z u plus i v constant, that u constant and v constant. I am taking that u is constant. U nothing but u of x comma is constant. So our practical problem is solved. Result we can write if for the all these things, then we shown that. Uh, A uh, object is constant. Can write uh, by using the uh, problem. Practical problem twenty eight. Let a function <coughs> f be continuous on closed and bounded region R and uh, let it be analytic and not constant throughout integer R. Assume that f of z is not equal to zero anywhere in R. Prove that mod f of z has minimum value in R, which occurs on the boundary of R, never in the integer of R. Aim. Let them show prove that all these things. Write all these things. So here you can write uh, then prove that in um, principles maximum mod law principle method. Let f is uh, continuous uh, on closed boundary region R. Let f be analytic and non-constant throughout integer R by hypothesis. Assume that f of z not equal zero by hypothesis. Assume that f of z not equal zero 
I am taking g of z equal to 1 by f of z for all z belongs to d. Since f is uh, analytic and g is also analytic, f is non constant, g is also a non constant. Therefore, g is analytic and non constant are by maximum modal principle g of attains maximum value on boundary of r not interior of r. That means there exists z naught belongs to r such that uh, mod g of z less than or equal to mod g of z naught. So, which implies, so I am writing here mod 1 by mod f of z, z of z nothing but 1 by f of z, less than equal to 1 by f of z naught, which implies f of z less than equal to f of z naught, which implies there exists z naught on the boundary of R such that f of z less than equal to f of z naught. That means you can write m less than or equal to f of z. That means f of z has minimum value on the boundary or boundary of R, not interior of R. So, we proved the uh, given problem, you can write result your own. Practical problem 29. Let a function f of z equal to u of x comma plus i of x be continuous and closed boundary region R and suppose that it is analytic and non constant interior of R. Show that component function v of x comma has maximum value and minimum value in R which are reached on the boundary of R and never in the interior where it is harmonic. Okay, you can write all these things. So here, uh, then to show that you can write by m principle maximum model principle method. Let f uh, the function f of z equal to u of x comma plus i of x comma y be the continuous and closed to <coughs> boundary region. Suppose that uh, it is analytic, not constant, non-constant to in the interior of R. Let us assume that g of z equal to e power of f of z. Mod g of equal to what f and e power f of z that equal to e power of u plus iv that equal to u power of i and e power iv mod e pi equal to 1 which implies mod g of z e equal to mod e of u. Since f is analytic and non constant on r, g is also analytic and non constant on r. By maximum model principle, g of attains maximum minimum value on the boundary of r, not interior of r. Which implies f of z attains. So here, if g of z attains, which implies f of z is also a, attains the maximum new value on boundary of r by considering already g of z equal to e power of z. Uh, this means f of z also attains maximum new value on of r, not integer of r. If f of z equal to already, we know that u of x plus i v of x y. If f of z attains maximum new value on r, which implies v of x also attains maximum minimum value on boundary of r, not integer of r. Okay, result you can write we all this right you can show that uh, we show that or uh, this uh, problem okay uh, practical problem pronouns is completed practical problem 30 let f be the function f of z equal to e power z and r is uh, rectangular region 0 less than equal x less than equal to 1 0 y less than equal y less than equal to pi finding the points in r where the component function u of x comma equal to real part of f of z reaches its maximum and minimum values Okay, uh, aim you can write all these things. So then to find the, from here, you can write then to find the points in our okay method or uh, principles maximum model principle method. Let f of z equal to I'm considering e power a z be given function. Here I'm taking that f of z equal to e power a to by hypothesis f of z equal to e power a be a given function or um, and uh, in and it defined rectangular. This is my rectangular zero less than equal to x less than one and zero less than y less than one. This is my rectangular. I am taking that oh, f of z equal to e power z, oh, f of z equal to e power z, just now I already proved that oh, e power x, z nothing but x plus i by e power x into e power of i by that equal to oh, u power of i nothing but 1, so mod e power i equal to 1 nothing but 1 uh, equal to mod oh, e power of x, this is the real value you can write e power of x only, why because e power of x only positive value, so you can write mod e power z equal to e power of x. I am writing u of x comma here, we are missing u of x comma y equal to real part of f of z. That is lesser equal mod f of z by already properties of uh, complex numbers. So here I am taking u of x mod e of x one lesser equal f of z to f of z is what e power of z to e power of mod e power z is lesser equal to e power of x. So that means uh, mod e power z uh, x so mod e of x comma y is lesser equal e power x. It may written as so minus e power of x lesser equal to e of x comma y lesser equal to e power of x. So I take x equal to one u of x comma y takes maximum value. So if I take x equal to one only it takes maximum value which implies minus e less than or equal to u of x comma y less than or equal to e. It can be written as e power of 1 plus i pi e power 1 equal to e power 1 e power i minus 1 minus e you can write as like this 
e power 1 equal to d power 1 plus 0 that means u of x comma has maximum value at equal to z equal to 1 u of x comma has minimum value at z equal to 1 plus 1 so you can hence prove the problem you can write a result of your own so this end the uh, complex analysis unit 3 syllabus and this also end the complex analysis paper 8 paper thank you for watching this